<laughs> Berserk. Oh, that is something else I kind of forgot about Juice Gold. Um, he got rid of confusion on this. Uh, oh, what? Oh, she did a punch because of the melee attack. <laughs> oh, no. That sucks for the mime. Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. It is Wiz. Welcome back for another FFT AI battle. So on top, we have uh, Juice, Juice Gold's updated team of performance issues. And then on bottom, we have uh, Delta Fiend's updated team of Dark Barony. So yeah, I'll talk about the changes and uh, we'll get right to it then. So for Juice Gold, we have Dysfunction the Samurai, Impulse the Oracle, Vocal Strain the Bard, and Plagiarism the Mime. Um, do remember all the changes offhand, except that this Samurai now has Talk Skill as opposed to uh, Punch Art. Also, MA Save 2 from what I remember. And he used to have a... Uh, um, what's it called? A diamond arm lippy. He now has a defense ring. Um, vocal strain. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. Destroy your larynx in the process. Oh, your Adam's apple. But yeah, this guy used to have a diamond arm. Now it's a defense ring for sleep and death sentence immunity. So if he fights teams that happen to cast those, Mimic, Derevon, Death Sentence, so on and so forth, it'll actually be pretty relevant. Um... Switched out the green bread for the golden hairpin, so slightly more HP, immunity to silence, a little bit more health, 30 extra points. It could be the difference between living and dying. Uh, should have float. Um, let me look at it real quick since we're doing this live. Is uh, you can't see it, it's on my end because I'm going to look at what you submitted to me. Uh, revision. You're correct, yes. I don't know why. Um, so you're getting some of the terminology mixed up, like two hands instead of double hand. But uh, no, you're right. I don't know why it popped up as move MP up. It's really weird. Um, it's possible I just changed it manually. So, agreed. It's a nightmare scenario to deal with. Um, let's, let's get that change fixed, though, real quick. The float. There we go. Again, when I entered, when I updated some of these teams, I actually just kind of looked over at them and manually did that. So it's something I probably glossed over as opposed to copy pasting it. Just because I'd rather copy paste brand new teams. But uh, yeah, I'm not exactly sure who to give this to. Bloody Strings, pretty nice. Um, yeah, let's just see how things go. Then I'll answer with the same build. Yep, the AI has a tendency to go for the lowest target units. Um, I don't really remember the changes. Chameleon Robe, immunity to dead. So that is something to bear in mind. Um, and this this used to be a Revenant. Now it's a Samurai. So good PA, uh, good MA as well. Uh, you know, the Magic Gauntlet, Aegis Shield, Circlet. Or no, Aegis Shield, so that's 3 MA. Um, let's make sure that I entered this incorrectly and I gave him all the abilities. Uh, I did. Okay, cool. And then Samurai, where are you at? Okay, cool. I have no idea who's going to win this. Let's just give it a shot and see what happens. So, again, apologies for that little error. I thought I um, updated everything because I just looked at, like, the one tiny difference. It's like a needle on a haystack. But, yeah. So, I'm trying to remember what map was. this was. The church? Okay. We got to pull that information up, too. Um, church. There we go. Awesome. All right, so these are checkers colors, red and black. Sometimes it's red and white or it's black and white. I don't know what like the traditional thing is for checkers colors. I went to a camp one time as a kid. I think it was just red and black. Obviously, chess is uh, white and black, but it's all good. Um, unfortunately, yeah, I won't use Kiyomori because they use that defensively. Like They won't view it as a first turn cast for auto protect, auto shell. It's only if you take damage. Poka Poka. All right, that's pretty nice on the... Knight. Samurai, unfortunately, doesn't hit. Ooh, okay, here we go. Now, do know, because of the MA, uh, the magic song, um, the magic song on that oracle, it's going to boost her damage up immensely. You got to remember that. Um, it'll be a pretty big boost for her with her having two hands. Any petrifies? No, not off the bat. Another MA safe, so draws are stronger. Very good. Berserk. Oh, that is something else I kind of forgot about Juice Gold. Um, he got rid of confusion on this. Uh, oh, what? Oh, she did a punch because of the melee attack. <laughs> oh, 
Oh no, that sucks for the mime. Because it was considered melee. And she tried to do the same thing with the, the bloody strings. And the Hamido came into play. Oh my god, that is so brutal right there. 140, pretty good damage, but oh, that sucks. Now that bar doesn't raise a raise too, but with two people right off the bat, that is not a good thing, unfortunately, for uh, Juice Skull. Um, but yeah, Barony um, has a bit of a lead. <laughs> a Hamido Mime Attack? Yeah, because he went for that. Frog? Oh, he got a frog too! Awesome! All right, so Dark Barony is... um. Wow, that uh, that um, Hamido from the mime fucked everything up so hard. <laughs> yeah, and then MP switch. Everybody have a uh, Murasame. Yep. Yeah, 120 is pretty good actually for that heal. But I think it's safe to say that this one is over. Um, remember, there's no more. Uh, oh, 200. Jesus, it's a good amount of damage in the two swords thief. Yeah, not bad. So wow. That was a commanding presence from Dark Barony right now. Uh, Barony, honestly, I think that um, just that mimic uh, Hamido shot screwed everything up, without question. Without hesitation, I can confidently say that um, that kind of sealed it because as a result, the, the mine died in the next melee attack, and so they just wasted turns. Fire three on the candles? Yes, I know. <laughs> uh, in the church house of God, they want to burn it down. Uh, reminds me of the song "Burn It Down" from Skillet. It's like a metal theme from like six years ago. I watched like a compilation video of that a long time ago. Now I'm guessing that's um oh berserk, nice, nice, and it cancels. Yeah, it cancels the spell, and uh, nobody can use Asuna, I believe. Um, two twenty, pretty good, and a Hamido because of the mime. The mime went to go do a, another mimic unintentional because the mime went to go for a pull shot too, and it hit that. Uh, it, it hit him. Oh my god! Another Hamido. All right. Well, <laughs> uh, it's just bad placement with that mime. Oh, it's unfortunate. Yeah. It's as, it's as if this oracle is working against her own team. Oh, two sixty because she got two point seven May. So 20 points, basically, per application. Pretty good damage, though. Uh, Murasame? Now, everybody has Kiyomori Protect, so there's less of a recoil. Um, you know, it's not going to backfire as hard. Uh, Bladegrass saved your life. Okay. But not that time. <laughs> oh, that was just absolutely insane, though, to think. Oh, and Donax. Oh, we got two of them. Oh, that blows. That is awful. That really does suck right there. Having two don't act like that. 19% um, chance, minimal odds. So, another Berserk. Um, well, th th then again, it's also a Samurai. Oh, okay, well, Elemental. I was going to say, he could use Earth Slash, but I forgot he, he switched it. But, yeah. Um, for fortunately for Katanas, they don't have the greatest like formula. So, it's not like he's going to do a tremendous amount of damage. Um, he'll still do some, but he's with a 50% proc, but... Murasami? Yes. Good. Because now that mom can heal herself with that too. 144? Pretty good. 144 HP heal. Berserk on him. I can't believe the 20% actually hit on the male samurai that time. Yeah, 96. Now, but part of that is because of uh, protect. Uh, the protected shell status. Now, not a lot, but the songs are really fast. That's 41 effective HP right there for everybody. Life Song and Angel Song are the fastest uh, songs out of all of them in the game. So keep that in mind. Um, yeah, so another, see another application. So 82 HP between these uh, Life Songs and the Mimics, right? I mean, it, it adds up over time, yeah. So even if the numbers are low, um, just that passive healing, it's it's kind of like having, it's kind of like having a move HP up a region constantly ticking, as long as the AI casts it. Oh, I didn't hit anybody that time. That's unfortunate. Well, uh, luckily this time the the Hamido, um, the mimic, uh, the mimic uh, melee shots uh, haven't kind of fucked everything up with the Hamidos. It's kind of nice. Any slows? We do see one, but the 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 damage has been done. He guarded with a ten percent. You little bitch, just die already, please. All right, another song. All right, fist him on the butt. Awesome. 
Okay. Heaven's Cloud. And we're going to see a Mimic Heaven's Cloud right here. 154 plus the Mimic. Let's see how much. 168. He's still hanging in there. He just lost 322 health. So he must be like at max HP. 342. Yeah, almost his full life bar. Um, item through item, but the damage has been done. All right, so 280. Even if that missed, that wouldn't miss. All right, bloody strings. Second's life. Or not. All right, luckily that mime didn't hit herself. 120, not bad. Or 112, excuse me. And I love how they just decide to insult the player by um, showing the status effects wearing off right there. I just think that's a little funny. Um, yeah, let's go to our tiebreaker, though. Um, as for a tiebreaker, let's go to... Hmm... Let's go to Zellan Fort City, map number 35. Okay. All right, well, um, as long as that mime is not in the range of that oracle for some mimic uh, Hamidos, I think uh, it might go into their favor. Now, because of the nature of the map, we should see one application of... Uh, the bard should be able to go for at least one application of Magic Song. He won't be going for Angel Song... Or, um, yeah, he won't be going for Angel Song or, um, Life Song because they're at max HP, max MP. Oh, and the, oh, forgot about her having Poka Poka, my bad. All right, so, unless we get a Petrify, oh, that fucking sucks right there. Oh, that absolutely blows. Because, yeah, now there's no more, there's going to be no Mimics. So, half the potency. And, yeah. It puts pressure on these units to uh, try to re revive her. I believe the Bard should have... Ooh. Ah, uh, he dies in one shot. He, I'm guessing he has a Suna. But man, that, that was absolutely huge right there. 220, the Innocent. That could actually kind of work in his favor. Because if he walks in the range with zero faith, then like the Wizard could cast Fire Force spells. It wouldn't matter too much. And with him having a Katana... That actually lowers his uh, melee damage significantly, so chances are that um, Samurai will only be going for uh, Drought. Let's see if I'm right. Yeah. 98? Not a ton, because he doesn't have a high MA. The Protect Shell, yeah, so this one is going to be going to uh, Dark Barony, absolutely. Uh, no Death Sentence procs. That doesn't matter. 300, that's going to be a Death proc. Less than 50-50? It does not trigger, but... Again, he um, he can't do this by himself. Honestly, that uh, just that petrify and the mime had it not gone off, I this round would be entirely different. And with him having talk skill, yep, permanent four v one. So this will be over very shortly. Yeah. So we do get an MA save. Um, I still feel like I still feel like this could be this could have been a closer tiebreaker had they not connected. I think that these two are somewhat evenly matched. I don't think it was completely one-sided. It just we had some shenanigans with uh we just had some shenanigans in the first round. Second round was pretty decisive and this was just bad luck. So we'll see. Uh 140 pretty good. We're just gonna speed this up because he we know he can't do it by himself. Yeah, he stops 40 brave now. Yeah. Yeah, he can't do it by himself, so. Congratulations, Dark Barony. Uh, definitely an improvement over the Revenant. You're know, just not being vulnerable to item and, you know, cure spells and raise twos and especially Phoenix Downs and all that. Uh, definitely an improvement with that uh, Samurai. I kind of like the unit a fair bit. Especially with Elemental getting, like, double uh, Don't X and all that stuff. They're not as good as Geomancers since Geomancers have access to more, like, PA and MA uh, equipping, uh, uh, boosting gear. But, uh, no, it's still pretty... It's a nice design concept nevertheless but uh yeah with that said i'll see you guys for our next match take care until then